Hot News El Chapo's wife, an ex-beauty queen, helped plan his escape, witness says Los Angeles Titanium. Emma Coronel, the glamorous 29-year-old wife of Joaquin L. It's perhaps unsurprising, then, that the former Mexican beauty queen offered no expression Wednesday when she became the center of a courtroom bombshell. Coronel, a witness testified, was key in coordinating her kingpin husband's infamous 2015 prison escape, via a mile-long tunnel that opened through his jail cell shower and she started helping Guzman with another escape plan after his recapture in 2016. Damaso Lopez, a longtime confidant of Guzman's, offered testimony describing how Coronel sought him out in 2014, about a month after Guzman was arrested in Mazatlan, Mexico. Through Coronel, my compadre sent a message he was thinking of taking the risk again of escaping from prison, Lopez testified in Spanish. He wanted to know, I said yes, Lopez told jurors, through an interpreter. Lopez, 52, told of how he, Coronel and Guzman's sons coordinated the escape from the Altiplano prison in central Mexico, a facility that officials had said was escape-proof. Guzman instructed them, through Coronel, to buy land near the prison. From there, I dedicated myself to get what was asked from me, Lopez told jurors, testifying in navy blue prison garb. Guzman's former The process of building the tunnel took months, Lopez said, and it wasn't a stealth operation. There was so much n Guzman told them, through Coronel, that the best days to break him out were Saturday or Sunday, because there were no officials at the jail on the weekends. A date was set, on July 11, Guzman headed down into the tunnel, where a driver and a motorbike on a pulley system were waiting. There wasn't much dr Lopez saw his boss about seven or eight times after his escape, he said. But in January, a month later, Lopez had another meeting with Coronel. Along with sending his regards to Lopez, Guzman needed to get him another message he was going to make an effort to escape again, Lopez testified. Once again, Coronel told Lopez they'd give him $100,000 to start up the same plan by a piece of land near his prison. Guzman, that escape did not pan out, however Guzman was later extradited to the US, where he has pleaded not guilty to 17 counts of drug trafficking, conspiracy to commit murder and firearms violations. Coronel has not been charged with crimes in the US or Mexico. Lopez's connection to Guzman went back much further than his 2015 prison break. In fact, at the time, Lopez took a job as the deputy director of security and custody at the Puente Grande prison. Guzman had been, those bribes included $10,000, a house worth 1.5 million pesos and help with medical bills for Lopez's son, the witness testified. In turn, Lopez said he left the prison in 2000, when an investigation into corruption began. A year later, once Guzman escaped in 2001, he reached out to Lopez. Unable to get work, Lopez, the godfather to one of Guzman's twin girls, soon became the point person for buying properties for the cartel. Later he became, he also offered up some of the trial's more gruesome testimony, detailing how Guzman ordered the murders of at least five different men, several of whom the kingpin felt had betrayed the cartel. Jurors watched video of a badly bruised former cartel worker's interrogation. Lopez said whose text exchanges between the men read in court described one particularly harrowing death order. A mayor of Lop, she asked the favor whether that cop could be killed, Lopez wrote. Guzman agreed, seemingly because she was likely to win the election. Yes. She is the favorite, whether the slaying occurred was not discussed at trial. On cross-examination, Lopez's relationship to Guzman was attacked by defense lawyers. Lopez who always referred to Guzman as my compadre, also gave him a deferential greeting, nodding his head and placing his right arm across his chest, laying his fist on his heart.
defense attorney Eduardo Balateso blasted Lopez for what he said was a fake gesture. It was not false, Lopez said. He greeted him with, the trial is expected to continue Thursday. Plagianos is a special correspondent.